Hello and welcome to the New Dig Norfolk Gardener. My name is Barry and we garden in Norfolk, midway between the fine city of Norwich and the coastal town of Great Yarmouth. And we are in Zone 9A. We would love you to subscribe to our channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about potatoes. And it's a glorious day because it's time to plant them. It's late March and for us within the next four weeks we should reach our last frost date and if you've been watching our videos before if you're a follower of our channel I always go on about the frost dates now it doesn't mean to say you're not going to get a frost you know we have been hit with frosts in May but as far as averages go by mid-April we shouldn't really see any frost certainly not hard ones anymore Now what I've done in this bed, this is where our main crop potatoes are going to grow and we're going to be growing a variety called Maris Piper this season and we had carrots in the bottom half of the bed, we have harvested the rest of those and they've now gone into storage to see us through now until the new carrots that we should be planting in the next week or so um, are ready for us to eat. So I've spread my compost and given that a good one to two inch layer and the bed is now ready to plant potatoes. Now if we spin the camera around to that bed in front of me uh, I'm going to be growing some second earlies and they are a variety called Charlotte. Now we've grown Charlotte for quite a number of years now really good potato, salad potato, um, produced big harvests and it also stores really really well. And then down in the bed one, which we'll probably get to later, um, we're growing our first earlies and that is a variety called Casablanca. And we grew that for the first time last year and we were really really pleased with it so we've decided to go with that again this season and the plan with that as always is that with Casablanca you can chip it you can mash it you can roast it so however we want to use our first early potatoes we can with the Charlotte being a salad potato they're much more waxy and they're more harder so they don't tend to break up so they're not good for things like mashed potato but what they are good for is when you're making casseroles and things like that and you want to drop them into your casserole they will not break up and you'll have nice chunks of potato in your casseroles and then of course the main crop that we're growing the Maris Piper well they're known as the chef's favorite and and again they're a really good all-rounder you can mash them chip them bake them whatever you want to do with them Our potatoes have chitted. If you're new to gardening and you're wondering what chitting is and why it's done to potatoes, um, then we have done a video on that, so please take a look at that. Potatoes grow equally as well if you don't chit them. They just take a little bit longer before those shoots come through and up and out of the ground. Now, I get asked quite a lot about how you grow potatoes in no dig, uh, because you're not particularly going to be earthing them up and that's true but potatoes actually grow really really well in new dig when the potato was planted they root really well down into the undug soil and then the potatoes will form in the soft compost the other thing i like about growing new dig potatoes is that i can plant these potatoes at the recommended spacing and i don't have to leave three feet between each row to be earthing up which is the traditional way of planting potatoes that makes for a much more productive space and in this bed here where we're growing our main crop potatoes there are actually 80 potato plants you think 80 potato plants in this space it's just 14 feet wide 12 feet long that's a lot of food we're going to be growing there So with new dig, um, 
you don't dig out trenches or large furrows all you do is take your trowel put it in the ground to the depth of the trowel pull the soil back and put the potato in and then cover it over so just trowel in pull the soil back get the potato down and there you go it's planted now I've got rather a lot of potatoes to be getting into the ground so I'm going to continue with this and we'll come back to you towards the end so one thing that is quite important to remember is to plant the potato with its shoot pointing uppermost I didn't say that earlier and that's quite important and also you probably noticed that I have planted all of our potatoes so that's the first earlies the second earlies and the main crop now oh dear old dad bless him he always planted his first earlies toward the end of March and second earlies first to second week in April and the main crop toward the end of April and if you read most text um, that's exactly what it tells you to do however I don't always do what the text tells me and we've been growing our potatoes like this now for quite a few years and when you plant them whether you plant the end of March, beginning of April, end of April, that doesn't really matter because all the different potato types, so first earlies, they're ready in about 12 weeks. Yeah, the second earlies, they have to grow for a bit longer, 15 to 16 weeks, and then they'll be ready for a harvest. And then the main crop later still, maybe up to 20 weeks, 24 weeks, depending on the variety. So it doesn't matter if you plant them all at the same time it's just remembering that they will harvest they take longer to grow depending on the type of potato that you're planting and the reason why i like to do this is because should blight strike sometime in july or early august where we have our main crop potatoes they should still be a harvest they might not have got gotten to full term and they might not be huge potatoes but we still get a harvest whereas if you wait another month toward the end of April before you plant those main crop potatoes there might be nothing there when blight strikes so that's our potatoes planted for the 2022 season and the next time we should come back to look at these uh, on video will be around about the first second week of May when there's another nice little job that we just need to do to see these potatoes through to harvest but more on that when we get there for now take care and we shall see you on the next video